Yo, what's happening? This is uh, Boxing Source once again, and this is to talk about the topic of Andy Ruiz Jr. It looks like there is a recent article that's out there. Um, reference to Andy Ruiz Jr. and his overall uh, work ethic, but uh, kind of comes there from an interview that happened on Sky Sports with Abel Sanchez. Abel Sanchez was a former trainer of Andy Ruiz Jr. Uh, up to a particular point where he fought Joseph Parker for, at the time, the vacant WBO Heavyweight Championship. We know that Joseph Parker was able to win that particular fight by decision. And then after that, Andrew Ruiz uh, basically was, quote unquote, on the bench uh, for about two years before uh, starting back up in the ring. And uh, when he did that, uh, he was uh, with Manny Robles. And with Manny Robles, he was able to become the unified heavyweight champion of the world by defeating Anthony Joshua at Madison Square Garden on June 1st of last year. Uh, but uh, after that particular win, he uh, kind of went off by the wayside, uh, gained so much weight, uh, didn't really do well uh, in camp, and lost a wide decision to Anthony Joshua uh, for those unified titles. But now, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. has hired the services of Eddie Reynoso, who had been named the uh, trainer of the year last year. Uh, Eddie Reynoso uh, is known for being the trainer for Saul Canelo Alvarez, um, and he also has on his team Oscar Valdez, Julio Cesar Martinez, and he also added Ryan Garcia on the team. Uh, but, you know, in reference to Eddie Ruiz Jr., um, he, you know, is a guy that, you know, I've, as we've seen, does have a lot of uh, ability uh, within him, a lot of uh, punching um, expertise, so to speak, and, you know, is able to put punches in bunches, kind of like, uh, you know, how they have Adam Kalmaki uh, as a very active uh, puncher at the heavyweight division. Uh, but, you know, with Andy Ruiz Jr., uh, he does have that ability. He's, you know, fought, you know, since a very young age. Uh, I think it was like five years old or something like that when they, like, started to put him in the ring. Uh, but, you know, now it's just, uh, you know, case of how focused will he be while he is with Eddie Reynoso. Uh, uh, Abel Sanchez said that Eddie Reynoso must keep uh, Ruiz in the gym, make him work, and get rid of the baggage around him. Uh, and that Andy Ruiz must listen. Um, and Sanchez gave props to uh, Eddie Reynoso, uh, saying that he is a heck of a coach and one of the best trainers in boxing right now. Uh, so it's going to be uh, something to see what happens with Andy Ruiz Jr. Uh, like I said, uh, him being under Abel Sanchez for some time, and then he is also with Manny Robles uh, when he did win the Unified Heavyweight Championships and then uh, he lost those championships over in Saudi Arabia. And now he has Eddie Reynoso um, in his corner from this point forward. Um, I think it would be interesting to see if uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. with Eddie Reynoso uh, has a fight against Charles Martin, who recently hired Manny Robles as his trainer. So he would have Andy Ruiz Jr. with his new trainer, Eddie Reynoso, and Charles Martin, Prince Charles Martin, uh, with Manny Robles there as his trainer. But um, that remains to be seen. Uh, that's what I have in reference to this particular topic. You could subscribe to the Box of Source on YouTube or catch. Fox and Source Radio Show, live Sundays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, usually on Blog Talk Radio, catch a podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever you use for your podcast. On that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.